This is what we're making, a hollow bangle with stamped patterns completely around it. Measure your hand for a bangle. It wants to be a fairly firm pushover. Measure the inside in millimeters, add three. For some reason, this particular bangle gets smaller. Then multiply by 3.14, and that will give you the length to cut your metal. The metal we're using for this is 13 millimeters wide and 0.7 thick. Cut the end square, make sure it's a 90 degrees. File them flat. I use a number two cut flat hand file. Measure it against the smooth edge of the file to make sure it's flat. Do both ends. Anneal the metal, quench it, and dry it. Hallmark it on what's going to be the inside and opposite the joint, so halfway between the two ends. Now the only difference between this one and another one is we're going to pattern all of this on the inside, then we'll form it and form it again into a hollow bangle. After you've put all of your stampings in, remember this is on the inside. So when you form it, not like a normal bracelet, make sure that's on the inside. Now the fact that you anneal this before you stamped it means it'll be easy to manipulate it. So just manipulate it until these ends hold themselves together and they're perfectly lined up and then we'll solder that using hard solder. So I just put this joint down on a charcoal block and I rest my third hand on top of it and that way it'll keep it lined up. Flux it four bits two millimeter long of hard solder. Place the solder with your flux brush. The solder needs to be flexed also. And I'm using a number seven tip on my mini torch. Big flame because it's a fairly big piece of metal. You just heat it up until the flux dries out. And then if the solder is where it's supposed to be, you just circle the join. Flex goes clear. The solder should flow shortly after. Like that. Quench it and pickle it. Dry the metal. Round it up on a bracelet mandrel using a rawhide hammer. And then tidy up your join. Always wait until after you've rounded it up to tidy up the join. It's easier to work on the top of the curve. I'm using 400 grit paper on my sanding stick. And if you line this up correctly, it won't take but a few strokes and you'll be done. So now we can start to form it. I'm using a sinusoidal stake and a French jeweler's hammer. It, you could use a cross pane, it's just that I, I like this small section. So I'm going to hammer it right in the middle and work my way around until I hit the bottom. Then I'm going to go to the smaller one. So all the way around. You can hear it when you finally get to the bottom because it sounds a bit like that. Then switch to the next smallest one, work your way around again point we're going to rotate that up so that we're hammering in between the middle and the edge to
to make it curl a little more. Do that, flip it over, do the other side. Go back on your bracelet mandrel and we're going to push that down and we're going to hit just in the middle to round it up. We don't want to hit our edges. Work your way all the way around. When it's nice and pretty and round, anneal it again. Dry it after you've quenched it. Um, I haven't pickled it. It doesn't really matter. Now we're going to place it on our bench block. You can put it on your anvil if you want. And we're going to use the flat part of the hammer. And just gently hammer the edge, working your way around. When you get a nice curl, flip it over and do the other side. You can see that it's uh, starting to close up quite nicely. Now when I get to this point, I go back on my bracelet mandrel. Take your time and just gently tap the edges towards each other. And you can see that they'll just close right up. So work your way all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going to solder it. Easy. So there it is. It's now a hollow bangle with all kinds of inter interesting patterns on it. Uh, it's time to polish it. So I'm just going to put this on a uh, wooden bracelet mandrel and polish it on the Tripoli wheel. This is what we're making. A hollow bangle with stamped patterns completely around it.